What is going on everybody? This is Costa Games. Welcome to another Dwarf Fortress tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about military, kind of setting up squads, making a barracks, um, all of that fun stuff. So as you guys can see here, I have my barracks. Uh, this one's a little funky because I didn't make it correctly. Um, this one right here, if you want to know the size of it, it is a 10 by 12 uh, square, 10 by 12 square. And then I just took the, I think this is two, yep, the two out of the middle made the path out of my hallway here you don't have to have flooring or walls i prefer them just to look a bit nicer because as you can see this is a uh, clay floor so this fungus grows and i just prefer the look of the stone floor in a barracks so this is a 10 by 12 area and inside here there is a couple components that you need for your barracks number one enough beds for your soldiers each squad can have 10 that's why i made it a 10 by 12 that way i could just lay beds across this back row i can put 10 armor stands every dwarf needs an armor stand and every dwarf needs a weapon rack also um, so you have 10 armor stands and 10 weapon racks lining the outsides you also need your coffers or any type of wooden box or anything like that so as you can see there's five here five here that makes 10 one for each dwarf and then I have stockpiles up here. You don't need to have stockpiles here. I prefer to have them because it makes it a lot easier for my dwarves to get uh, food to put in their backpacks and also drinks to put in their flasks or water skins. Just to do this, this is, I believe, the food. You would go to custom, hit food, hit prepared meals. Your dwarves, your military dwarves will only carry prepared meals with them. So that is the only one you need to select. And then right here, this is your drinks. Um, it is pretty simple set up a drink one food drink plants you could do drink animals also um but i don't think you can get ale from animals so no you can't i mean mead i guess that does count as uh, alcohol so yeah that's how i set up my barracks and then all you would do is go come to your zoning you would click barracks select it and then once it is selected you'll see this little menu and you could click this little banner squad thing and tell them that they can sleep train and store their weapons and uh individual equipment here in the barracks now so the weapons and equipment would be your armor stands and also your weapon racks your uh regular inventory would be the regular boxes your coffers or uh, wooden chests anything like that training you just need an open space and it really doesn't need to be open either and then your beds obviously you need enough to sleep in so that is how you set up a barracks. Like I said, this one's a little funky because it's one short and I did not catch it until afterwards. But this is how I usually set up my barracks. They have a nice open place to um, train. They have enough stuff to store their inventory and their armor and weapons, and then they can sleep here also. When you're looking at the squad menu over here on the right, uh, there's a couple options you have. You can select them and give them orders. So this is an attack, so you would click this, then click on a enemy or a hostile threat or anything like that, and they will immediately gear up and go attack. This green arrow is your station order, so if I click this and then I click in this room, my archers will move into this room and just stand there. Uh, they will leave if they need to eat, sleep, or drink. That is why it is important to have backpacks and flask or water skins. That way they don't have to leave their station to drink or eat. Um, and also have the prepared meals ready for them. Um, so also your patrol order. Patrols are a very interesting thing. So if you see here, I can create a new route. I can tell my person that I want you to start in the barracks, come out to the hallway, take this turn, come into this barracks, and that's all I want you to do. And they will just make a square. They will just keep going up and down in here. And that's all they'll do all day. Um, so I do not want them doing that. So the next one would be assign burrow defense order. So they will patrol the burrow and any hostile creatures. Obviously your burrow is right here. I need to repaint mine. I have not since I started. Um, here's your burrow. So my dwarves will walk around all of these areas that are highlighted and just kind of patrol, attack anything that happens inside. Uh, but that is another option. It's a, it's a bit more complicated than patrolling or stationing your people, but it does work. Um, next, you have your training order. Uh, so that would just tell them, hey, go train. 
for right now this is all you're doing go into your barracks and train um this red is your cancel button don't hit this x this x deletes whatever you have selected so you will lose the squad obviously you can just remake it but it's a pain so don't hit the red x only hit that little circle one your next options uh so you have your leader the name their order and what they are doing at the moment their routine you can set their routine by clicking them and then going to schedule off duty means they're not doing any training they're going to do their regular day-to-day -day life stuff monthly orders means they will get together uh one month out of the season i believe and um they will train during that month constant train means they will do nothing but train they will not mine they will not uh, go work in workshops nothing like that so uh, we want them to have monthly orders ready means that they are not training they are not doing any day-to-day -day stuff all they're doing is gearing up and standing still and waiting for you to give them an order your next option is to view your squad so if you click this little dwarf face right here next to the feather this is your squad um this is all of the people that are in your squad uh, I have a mercenary in here. As you can see, this is a human mercenary that came to my tavern and decided he went to soldier for me, and he is a Mark's, Mark's human, I guess. I almost said Mark's dwarf. He's not. But yeah, you can have people like this. He'll show up with his own armor and gear. Don't have to worry about him. He will eat your food and drink your ale, but that is as far as you need to stock up for him. And yeah, that is, that is your squad. You can click him. Like if I click him, I can choose somebody to replace him. Uh, the no relevant skills, you can work on this. Uh, the more they train, they will start dabbling. Then they will become uh, competent and all that. And then they'll become, you know, hopefully if they train enough, legendary marks dwarves or whatever. So we've talked about the roster. We've talked about all of your orders, your scheduling. The next thing we got to talk about is equipping your soldiers. Um, this is a bit complicated. So if I go here, you can see that... These are green and these are yellow and you may be like i don't know what i'm looking at and then if you look at like my marks dwarves here there's a lot of red and you're like i don't know how to tell my people how to grab stuff i don't know how to i don't know what the yellows or greens mean and I'll, let me explain all these for you so when you're looking at this uh yellow means that they have the item on or available um Green means that that is claimed by them. So if we look at Zahn here, who is my leader of the Flyers of Ringing, my melee squad. If I click this little magnifying glass, I forgot the word for it for a second. If I click the magnifying glass and I go to items. Now you saw his, he was yellow across the board except for his weapon and his... Um, shield and everything his weapon and shield he has this a steel war hammer and an iron shield what happened was he became attached to these and he is like claimed by him this is his weapon nobody's going to pick up this weapon when he won't leave this weapon um so when you are looking at this you're like okay he's became attached to the weapon his chest piece and his helmet okay yeah so if we look at these guys um these guys have these things attached to them. Uh, these are their pieces of equipment. These yellows uh, doesn't mean that they're not equipped. Um, that means they're available, but they may not be equipped. Uh, so like if we went to Lickets and looked at her, as you can see, she's not wearing any of her armor. Now, if I told them get ready, she's going to go put that armor on and she'll be ready to go. She'll, she'll replace all of her clothing with that. So we go to equip. And we just want the melee and we go to uh the assign or add uniforms they are already signed my melee gear um this is a custom one that i made the irregular ones melee or metal armor and i'm going to show you guys how to make a custom uniform because i need to make one for my archers so as you can see my archer squad is out of whack um and the reason this is is because i told them to assign uniform and just clicked archer I don't know exactly. I think this is like leather armor and stuff. I want my archers in metal. It does slow them down, but it offers a lot more protection. Um, and if they get into a fist fight, you know, it does help. We're going to go to add uniform. Now, this is, we're going to go uh, metal archer. So that is going to be the name of our unit. Now we're going to go to body wear. And we want 
we could do mail shirts and you can all you can assign them multiple things so i can tell them hey you can wear a mail shirt or you can wear a breastplate we're going to give them an option for the body wear now you do have to come over here to material and color material for the mail shirt metal color any color same thing with breastplate metal any color now i'm going to go to headwear i want them to wear helms or caps i'm going to do the exact same thing metal metal any colors on these leg wear i create leggings and greaves so we're going to do the exact same thing metal and any color for the pants now handwear uh gauntlets are cool with me we're going to go metal any color footwear I just like clicking footwear. Wear any type of footwear, make it metal, in any color. New shields. Uh, archers can carry shields. Um, it does not affect... The, the weight of the shield is the only thing that affects the speed of your archer, but the material or having a shield in general will not affect your accuracy of the archer. So I do like to carry shields with my archers. We're going to go shields and bucklers metal any color then we're going to go to new weapon now this is interesting because if you just want crossbows you can click that if you just want bows you can click that but you can do individual choice melee weapon or individual choice weapon or melee or range so you can tell them hey if you are in this squad and you would rather shoot a crossbow you can or you could shoot a short sword or carry a short sword and that would be individual choice weapon so i don't want that this is my archer squad i already have a melee squad so i want individual choice range so whichever they prefer out of a ranged thing like crossbows bows um thin crossbow whatever whatever we have that they prefer the most they will pick it up so we're going to go individual individual choice ranged and see, this has no options. So they will pick up a wooden crossbow or an iron crossbow. Um, if they pick up a wooden crossbow and you have iron ones available, you can just click update equipment and they will upgrade their wooden one to an iron one if there's one available, if that makes sense. So now we're not done here yet. So this is the suit of armor that they'll wear, the shield and their weapons. Next, we want to do, there's an option right here that says uniform worn over clothing. I like to do uniform replaces clothing just so that they are wearing their gear. Now, partial match is okay, which would mean that like if you don't have like a metal shield, you can go pick up a wooden one. Or if you don't have metal leggings, you know, leather may work or something like that. That's fine with me for archers. I'm not too worried about it. Um, you can do exact matches only, so they will only wear metal breastplates metal mail shirts they will not touch anything else if it is not available um, but i am fine with it partial matches are okay now we are going to go to confirm and save uniform now as you can see nothing has changed okay so we're going to go to assign uniform now metal archer there we go okay so as you can see my archers are now equipping their gear um it's going to take them a second they have to like go into each individual box and grab the piece of gear that they are looking for so we'll just give them a second so let, like let's just take a look at one of these guys um like dosum here if i click the magnifying glass as you can see they have an iron buckler doesn't look like they're wearing any of the other gear yet but they are wearing boots i may not have any high or iron boots or anything so they are wearing looks like wood boots they did equip a quiver, they did grab some bolts, they did grab, you know, a backpack and a water skin. So that is looking really good right now. So now we just need to go in and make sure that we are crafting more iron armor for these guys, uh, more bolts, because it looks like a couple of them haven't picked them up yet. Looks like we may need another backpack also. So Enod, our leader here, has an iron cap, the boots, one gauntlet. Um, iron greaves, a breastplate, and a shield along with their crossbow. So yeah, uh, that is how you set up a custom thing. I'm going to have to work through here and make sure that everybody gets some gear because it looks like I am missing a handful. Metal archers here are kind of struggling here, but we're going to get this figured out. That is how you create a custom uh, uniform uh, for archers. Now you can do the same thing with melee. The only difference would be that you change the 
individual choice weapon from range to melee. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys helped you, or helped you guys out. Uh, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you want to check out any more guides or playthroughs on my channel, they are all here. Just you're already here. Just hit a like and subscribe. I'd re it really helped me out a bunch. I'm a new channel, like I said. So uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in another video. Peace.